Penny Rafferty, Penny Rafferty Realty. I've got my green on today because Saturday is the parade for St. Patrick's Day. And while technically Sunday is the 17th, we got to get ready in advance because they don't do the, the parades on, on Sundays. So got my ears on, I'm ready to go. But today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my build, my blue bamboo in phase seven. I wanted to tell you that we met with our builder last Friday and for those of you who watched my last video, which was laundry rooms and litter boxes, just know that I did not get my electrical moved. I did not get my vent moved because that would be a change order. And for those of you who know, Mento does not do change orders. So I'll either buy a, a stackable and we'll fix it afterwards or we'll buy a side by side. But if you haven't been to Mento and you haven't chosen your A's, that's now an option for you to decide if you want a stackable washer and dryer or a side-by-side. -side. So make sure you walk through all these models, pick out your floor plan and have that in your mind because you can't undo what you've done. I know I tried and I failed on a lot of different levels. But last Friday, we did what Mento calls how we build or other people call a pre-drywall inspection. So to catch you up in the process, in December, the last week in December, they poured our foundation. Now we're in mid-March and we're doing our pre-drywall inspection. And that's where we get to see what's happening in the walls before they put the drywall up. Pretty fascinating. And then the next step is drywall and we're moving along. So some of the things that are behind your walls are the plumbing. And so the plumbing uh, component that they use is called PEX. They no longer use copper. They no longer use polybutylene. So PEX is what they use because it's flexible and it's less likely to um, it's less likely to leak or have holes. So they gave me a whole PowerPoint presentation. This whole build is way different than it was in 21 and 22. So the process is the same. Some of the techniques are different. One of the things I found fascinating was they call it the structure of your home. And what they do is they have anchor bolts and cables both on the exterior of your walls and select interior walls. Um, and the structural engineer decides where they go to make your house more safe, more structurally sound. They also put up hurricane strapping. So I don't remember that from my last build. Doesn't mean they didn't do it, but they're doing it now. Um, so I thought it was pretty fascinating seeing, and you can't see here, but seeing the anchor bolts and seeing the wires that run through the wall and how they're connected to the foundation. So if you can, come down here for the how you build how we build portion it's, it's fascinating to see it's only an hour but still it's fascinating to see also if you'd like if you're from away and you're not going to be here hire a home inspector you can do that or if you have a realtor they can go and maybe videotape the process but it really has some really good information something new i learned about the framing now i knew the trusses were prefab then they come all numbered and ready to go but so do the interior walls. So this is what my PowerPoint presentation says. It says the wood frame walls for each home are pre-engineered and cut for length at the factory to ensure accuracy. And then they're shipped to the job site numbered and ready for assembly. And then it's more efficient and it produces far less waste. So that's good for the environment. And so all the framers have to do is match up read the instructions and match it up and those are for the exterior walls and also for the um for the island so i thought that that was pretty fascinating that they're numbered and stamped and they're pre-done i didn't know that also we talked about the air conditioner and how the air conditioning circulates in the house so even when the doors are closed there's some returns to keep the keep the rooms uh cool you even have one in your uh, closet. I like that. Your walls have insulation. So in your insulation, it's batten insulation. And in the attic, it's blown in insulation. And speaking of the walls, and of course, that's for energy efficiency. I believe R38 in the ceiling. Check with your builder for that. Also in the cottage, specifically for the cottage and probably for the villas too, they have a firewall in between. So for instance, our cottage has a four hour firewall and the cottage on the other side has a four hour firewall. So 
that's about eight hours of protection and it goes clear up to the roof. So that gives everybody peace of mind that if a fire were to start, you have the opportunity to get out before, you know, it really goes up in flames. Isn't that a happy thought? Thanks, Penny. <coughs> also, there's a panel where your cat six is running through and that will be found in the laundry room. We also have um, pest control. So they run these lines behind the walls. So if you're not home, you can have the home inspector, not the home inspector, the pest guy come and inject the chemical and it goes behind the walls. So that's for pest control, like spiders and ants, things like that. They do that on the first floor. Uh, that's fine. We don't have any second floors here. And then also we have a citricon system, which is for termites. So make sure you keep your termite bond up because there are several kinds of houses here in the low country. Those who have termites, those are going to have termites. So keep up your termite bond. You'll be glad that you did. Um, keep in mind, all of this you can do on your own. A lot of us are do-it-yourselfers. But before you cross that threshold, reach out to me. Um, I have a lot of knowledge with the building process. I have a lot of contacts. I have a lot of homeowners that have told me some of their horror stories that we've been able to you know, fix some of their issues. So before you cross the threshold, reach out to me. My name is Penny Rafferty. Send me a text, send me an email, send me a smoke signal. I'm happy to help you before you cross that threshold. After you cross the threshold, you're considered a customer of Mento. So the salesperson on the inside works for Mento. You're considered a customer. It's called designated agency. So they really represent both sides. So know what you're doing. I'm always going to say that. Know what you're doing. Go to all the model homes. Know what model you want. Go to all the model homes and talk about the laundry room and the litter box or where the dog bed is going to go. Because once you choose your A's, which are structural, you can't unchange those. And next up are the pretties, which are the B's, and then you're marching to closing. One more tip I want you to be aware of. Mento seems to be building these homes faster than they have in the past. So on Facebook, I've noticed people are getting their closing date moved up 60 and 90 days. So make sure you plan appropriately. And that's because Mento has fewer homes in the pipeline. So they're, they're slowing down. They have fewer homes in the pipeline. Um, the home inspectors are catching up as far as inspecting your, your rough plum or your behind the walls. So just because you got a closing date, my closing date they gave me last year was like August, September, maybe October, and that was fine. But if they move it up 60 or 90 days, that doesn't work for me. So know what you're doing. Keep in contact with your builder because he's the next one who's going to keep you updated on when the estimated closing date is. So I'm Penny Rafferty. I'm your neighbor. If you want my little magazine, Latitude Living, go to my website, Penny Rafferty Realty. I have it online there. There's also more tips and tricks there. So get ready for St. Patrick's Day. Maybe I'll see you at the parade. Fins up. <laughs>